one of the most difficult <clears throat> my native no <clears throat> what I'm going to say you know how because um, that's because my native no <clears throat> what I mean about that is that this is a perfect example of what I'm trying to say one of the most difficult things for me when it comes to making a YouTube video is being able to speak fluently and remembering what I'm supposed to say. I know what I want to say, I just have to translate it into English in my head before I can say it. This because my native language is Norwegian and I don't speak English as fluently as I speak Norwegian. I probably have many hours of me just staring at the wall trying to figure out how to say things. I sometimes ended up with sitting in front of the camera for, I don't know, up to two hours just to get a 10 to 15 minute long video. And with that amount of footage, so many varieties or variations of every sentence, it was a nightmare to edit it all together. So. I found out that I had to start scripting my videos as this made it easier for me to get the message across. Then it came down to remembering the scripts and that was not always easy because that meant I had to read the script, sit down in front of the camera, say it as I remembered it and a lot of times I didn't remember what I was going to say or I left something out. So what I ended up with was starting to search for teleprompter so I had something to read from when I was shooting my videos. But as I was doing my search online I found out that a teleprompter costs a lot of money. So then I thought okay I will make one for my own. And so I did. Now I'm going to show you how this studio or my setup here today looks like. I'm going to start recording a video. I'm tapping record right now and now it's recording. I'm actually at my garage filming this video and as you can hear I have a river just right outside of my garage so I'm sorry if that noise is being picked up by the lavalier mic but I didn't have anywhere else to film this. I have my main camera over there and as you can see I have a teleprompter in front of my camera and this is a teleprompter that I made by myself and it cost me around I think it was around five bucks, not more. And a teleprompter online costs up to about $100. So this saved me a lot of money. So I'm gonna stand up now and I'm gonna show you how this teleprompter works. And this is my teleprompter. Now I have my camera back here, my Canon M6 Mark II on a tripod. Ta-da! My homemade teleprompter. On my teleprompter, I have an iPad. Now if I play here, you can see this is the beginning of this video that I had scripted before I started recording this video. And as you can see, now I've taken away the sweater uh, so it doesn't show up as good, but you can see the text is in front of the lens But the camera is not picking up anything And this has been the way I've been shooting a lot of my videos lately Using a teleprompter. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a teleprompter for yourself So all I needed to make a teleprompter for myself was a picture frame. There is a lot of different picture frames in the stores, but you need a picture frame with a gloss inside. That's kind of important. And what I also bought was this, what's this called in English? The thing you keep your papers inside. We call it a pattern here in Norway. You need some electrical tape, then some 
I'm not sure what this is called, but you need some kind of metal thing. This was just something that I had in hand and you can probably get something of your own. You're going to see what we're going to use this for when it comes to that. So, and then you need a knife and then a ruler. So let's start with the frame. That's all we need. So now we have our gloss. We have this. What I did with my first teleprompter was that I, I didn't want this middle part. I cut this away. And this is why you need a perm made out of cardboard or something that you can cut in. So that's one part. And now we end up with these two sides and we can throw this part away. Now what I did was you want this to be in the middle of this cardboard. I'm just going to mark in the cardboard where the edges of the frame is, but I'm not going to cut it there. I'm going to cut it on the inside. And this that you cut out, this we are going to keep because we're going to use this afterwards. Then we place the gloss on one of the sides. And then we just use this tape and we tape the gloss to this thing. And now the gloss is taped to the frame. Part one is done. What we now do is that we tape this side together with this side. And now we have our teleprompter. But as you can see, the problem now is it's all flippy. So this is where this metal thing comes in handy. We have to put this at a 45 degree angle. We take this metal thing and I just bend it like this, like so. Let's take one more that's just as long, like that. So now these two are at the same length. What we now do is we bend that side, and we bend this side. I want to put this one over here and then the other one at the same place but on the other side. For this, I'm also going to use tape. So put it right there. This is not a specific science, you know. Just continue taping this to it so it stays at the same spot. So now this is in place. Let's fasten the other one. What I also did with my first teleprompter that I made is that I put some tape on this metal thing so it wouldn't be visible to the camera. We have to measure up the 45 degree angle around there so we have to bend these backwards a bit and here we go our homemade teleprompter like I said we have this so I used this to just make it a little bit sturdier Maybe this river outside is making this an ASMR video. Maybe I should title it like an ASMR video. Like so. It's finished. I made my own teleprompter. And it cost me around five bucks instead of a hundred bucks that I would have to pay if I was going to order it online. So. The glass in the teleprompter has to be totally clean. Dust or stuff attached to the glass that will be picked up by the camera. Camera stands behind here and shoots through the glass. You put your iPhone, your, don't have to be an iPhone, you put your phone 
here and or an iPad, I use my iPad, downloaded a free teleprompter app that you put your text into and then the teleprompter scrolls the text up on the glass and you are able to see it when you're shooting your video. So that's this week's video. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please give me a like. And uh, if you haven't already and you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I mostly do videos about cameras, tech gear and videography. And I guess this falls into the tech gear part of my channel. So hit that subscribe button if you want to. Anyways, thank you for watching. Maybe I will see you in another video. Bye.